Hi guys, welcome to this video about how to file a patent for free. Yeah, I mean, most of the people think it's not possible. I mean, when you Google that, you will see some information about high cost. Here, that's the first answer from Google. They're saying around uh, $1,500 without an attorney. Then for an attorney, you can expect uh, up to 10,000, I mean, even more depending on the needs also how complex the whole thing is and so on so but it definitely is not a cheap thing but how would it be possible to make the thing for free i mean i've been in this business for a couple of years i mean not full time but i've been trying a couple of things i've been filing a patent and yeah it was a couple of years ago and it really worked for me so i had like a protection for uh, one year and it didn't cost me anything and but uh yeah and i have been trying to sell the thing to large companies but didn't work so it's a really really complicated thing and the big deal i think in this business is actually uh, to find somebody who is buying this i mean there are a lot of people around who think yeah uh, you just need a, a good idea and then people or companies will run the door and uh, buy uh, everything you have for millions or yeah we will uh, turn into millionaire overnight and I can tell you that's not going to happen there are so many traps there are so many sharks around who just want to steal your money the, when you google for like how to how to file a patent you will get a lot of links and most of them are just people trying to steal your money it's crazy i've been uh, i've seen so many companies they say yeah we are helping you you have a good idea yeah we help you 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 can make a, a lot of money almost overnight and so on but the thing is they will ask to uh, first pay a lot of money and at the end you probably get nothing so I mean most of the patents are filed anyway and uh, without uh, getting any success so you have to be careful with your expectations don't just uh, quit your job if you have a good idea and you think you will become millionaire overnight no usually it won't happen i can tell you it's so so difficult even when there are books are about that which want you to make believe it's super easy no uh, i can tell you it's definitely not as an inventor it's a pretty pretty hard life i mean you can have some success i mean there's always a chance but you need sometimes really good connections and you need a lot of power and endurance and a lot of money uh, in the back and uh, yeah it's not easy and because i know that it's so super hard i wanted to give you a little bit of assistance how you can save a lot of money i mean i'm not in the business anyway so it's no loss for me so back to the original topic how can we make that i mean I'm just comparing a little bit the Swiss side and the US side. So here's the thing from Switzerland. Here we have the website that's IGE.ch and they are saying yeah if you want to file a patent they do not have this patent pending they just have normal uh, patent and uh, yeah that's it two hundred dollars i think it's valid for one year and then it goes on and on and on but you get basic protection for one year they don't uh, check your patent you just file it and it's there you get confirmation and actually costs two hundred dollars in us i've been doing some research a couple of years ago i'm not up to date but they, based on google they say yeah, a professional patent application is one thousand to three thousand by five hundred but actually the uh, patent application starts at $300 as far as I know it is depending on your income so if you have a pretty low income there's a chance to make this much lower I have seen prices 
uh, for $60 or so, $120, I'm not sure about that, but still you can face a lot of cost and if you have no success, yeah, then it's everything a loss. So how to avoid that? So there was one article a couple of years ago, it's six years ago, but I think it's still the same. So here there was something about a company from Germany, I think this guy was from Germany, he was filing uh, 1,400, uh, no that's wrong, 1,205 uh, patents in Switzerland and guess how much he was paying for that? Nothing. So nothing. How is that possible? The IGE or I mean Switzerland basically they have signed a contract in Paris a couple of years ago and it's all about uh, how to handle patents and there is some flaw actually in this law and I think it's still there. So the thing is actually you can find such a patent here in Switzerland and maybe in all of these countries. I've, I heard about 180 countries have been signing this contract already and probably it's the same in all these countries but I'm just referring to Switzerland now because I know the details. I have done it here and I know that it is working or at least it was working a couple of years ago but I, I don't expect that it has changed anything when I check this here. So you just file this patent here. So what are the requirements? How does it work? You can file it from everywhere. You can file it uh, by email. There's here on this site you will find an email address and you put everything into PDFs and describe everything properly. I mean there are quite some requirements to do that and uh, you, you basically file it and you get confirmation. But the thing is there is one big thing actually you have to mention an address in Switzerland. So you can be as a like a person or company who files the patent you can have your domicile in uh, like any country I think of the world but there has to be somebody responsible for you in Switzerland so the thing is then only to find somebody who is located or company which is located in Switzerland I mean you can ask uh, for anybody uh, who does that for you. I mean they won't have any access to the patent as far as I know. I mean I've been doing that. I've been filing the patent and yeah there, got, there was some confirmation sent to this address in Switzerland but just the confirmation I mean title of the invention but no details about that and the thing is now it gets a little bit tricky. I mean there's of course this uh, filing fee of $200. They will send an invoice of 200 Swiss francs which is basically $200 to this person which you refer in Switzerland. But the thing is you don't have to pay that. I mean yeah also this person doesn't have to pay that. They're just sending the invoice and based on the contract which was signed in Paris uh, they cannot enforce this bill. I mean they can ask you to pay that but even though if you're not paying they will still be obligated to maintain your like uh, filing and so it will be protected for one year and during this one year you have the chance to sell this patent. I mean it's not a patent pending but it's like a, a patent filing you can uh, sell that and if you find a company which is willing to pay a lot of money then you will have within one year to file another patent within this country or region like EU and there are so many different patents. I mean you can file patents on a country level, on a region or worldwide and so on. I mean you will have to find out what it, what's needed but basically you have this one year then after doing that and that can help a lot. I mean I spent then after filing that one year trying to find company but 
I couldn't find and so the, my only loss was my work and I didn't lose uh, more money than that which I think is quite nice so instead of knowing that you have to spend even much more money I mean maybe hundreds or thousands uh, which they say here so I mean I also didn't need an attorney it was pretty easy I mean you have to do your research you have to find out what requirements are needed to file which you, uh, all the things which you have to put into the PDF sometimes this that there's almost like a specific language but they are uh, showing you samples and uh, you will find out how to do if you invest a couple of days or maybe a week or so you should be uh, able to uh, make to file a patent uh, definitely after a week or so i mean even probably doing the your research and designing your patent and and everything so it's not too difficult so i mean that's my latest knowledge uh yeah my finding was again in i think 2015 yeah, I think I started doing research 2014. My filing was in 2015 or even 16. And at least at this point, it was unchanged. And I really don't expect that anything has changed. But maybe you should uh, maybe double check uh, with them. I mean, the good thing is really they have some... Yeah, that's even available in, in, in English. That's the good thing here. IGE.CH you can have everything in English if it works and you can even have some communication with these people right uh, at the center of the uh, patent filing office and they will tell you if something has changed in the last couple of years I mean yeah maybe I wouldn't ask them directly if you can file for free but uh, if you ask them if anything has changed regarding the fees and uh, anything in the last uh, five or six years so it should be good then yeah so that's actually it for now I hope I've been able to help you and save a lot of money with that if you have any questions or comments or better solutions whatever you have please write everything down into the feedback area I'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching and see you next time Thank you.